little bit of Val, also a little bit of Artemis. I'm looking at the bracket to see if he's reported any other ones. It doesn't look like he's reported too much, but of course we are into top eight and now we're on the loser's side of the bracket. So before we just saw Stingray and Sandstorm, we saw Cody Travis versus Koslix. All of those were winner's bracket matches. So losing there means the loser goes down into the lower side of the bracket. Now we're on losers. This is big, this is do or die. If Faison or Snowy loses here, they're out of the tournament. Oh yeah, this is this is not where you want to go out at all either, man. You just got in the top eight, you obviously want to go ahead and keep your run going. But, obviously, we've got more fight between these two competitors to find out right now. Faison and Snowy. Snowy's gonna go ahead and get it started with uh, the, the cannon. Find a lot of these side lights, but I guess he's trying to see if he can find out a pattern. Oh! Oh, man, you're so lucky you got hit with the, the side of that instead of the, uh, the bottom of that. That definitely could have been an early stock. And almost on that, seemingly on an accident. Like, oh! Yeah, Snowy's starting to run this. on had his dodge off a of cooldown. Might turn this around. It's going to take a lot, though. Snowy's just... Oh! on got a little bit too greedy. Snowy was in the yellow. on should have, like taken one of those hits and been like, I'm unarmed. This is not really going to lead to too much. Everything has to go right for me and everything has to go wrong for Snowy for me to take this KO on early in this game. He got too greedy, wanted too much, and he paid the price. Oh. Okay. Ooh, damn, that's good. Double duffed him. Faison just kind of cleaning it up there. Now, one thing, Faison might struggle if he wants to stick these gauntlets, which it looks like he does. He might struggle to find ways onto Snowy. It's going to be primarily the downlight. Snowy's going to have a lot of range with both Axe and the Candy. If Faison wants to go with like the side lights, if Snowy backs up, he is in perfect punish territory to hit Faison while he's in the air, either with the cannon side light, which can lead into so much damage, or even just the axe side light, which can lead into a two piece or a three piece. All right. You see him opt. Oh, I thought he was going to opt to stay with that, but no, instead, it ends up throwing that away. Must, must have thought he was still going to be on the ground and try to catch him in space, but still keeping the cannons on deck. Even if he was, didn't get a, a, a great weapon star, if he was able to grab his one, his first. But oh no, now he's getting thrown, getting tossed around. Gotta watch out. Yeah, you know, he's on a the there. Oh, peaked up just a little bit too high. That down signature I think is very underrated on Soul. If you do it for like the minimum charge time, you can hit that spot right up close next to you, but it also has a ton of range with those three individual blasts. Faison peaked up just a little bit too high and went into it. I know he has a little bit of a lead here, but face on sword coming out of the neutral light, almost sending Snowy off screen, follows it up with this clean side air. Okay. Throws that up. Just wants to keep wants to keep his gauntlets on deck, uh, which makes sense. His gauntlets have definitely been doing quite a bit. Oh, the weapon toss in the middle of that. Okay. Was kinda expecting just to fall down down air, but instead, that's what the weapon toss could have got. I thought maybe he's gonna get the weapon toss into the neutral uh light after that as well, but Maybe he didn't uh, get the full connection that he wanted. That it should oh, be on. it. Oh, my God. Oh, you're done. That's it. You're d I'm so upset That's for it. you. Faison just stole that game. He did not deserve the game. I'm telling you, he did not deserve Yo. that. Wow, he really walked in your house and said, you know what? These are mine now. <laughs> like, that's, oh, that's crazy, bro. He went to your fridge, opened up the milk, drank straight from the carton, and put it back and said, <laughs> All of this, all of this is mine. What you gonna do about it, man? Absolutely nothing. We got the swap over here to the Olgrim. Yeah. I mean, I don't think that the Zol was a bad pick, but at the same time, though, there's something about his cannon. I just feel like he, he's he's willing to get a little risky with the cannon, and then sometimes that risk and reward did not uh, pay off. So now we got, a, I guess, somewhat a safer weapon here on the Lance. However, you gotta be able to get back to stage first. I think it's Oh, okay. I'm, I am loving the play here from Faison. Yeah, he looks way more confident this game, for sure. Just has a handle on Snowy's movement. There's a nice sidelight, but he's able to jump over the neutral light that Snowy throws out. There's a sidelight in there. Snowy goes for the D-light. Not sure if he meant to 
actually go for the down air to get maybe read the dodge down, or if you want to go for the ledge cancel, be like Snowy throwing out these nares, phase on avoiding all of them, like really well. Side sick comes out over the corner. Okay. All right, there we go. Right back into it. Hold on. Oh yeah, I don't even think he meant to land there, or even I'll uh, be in that position. But unfortunately, Phazon is definitely going to capitalize on that super quickly. Gets that ground pound. <laughs> Phazon just opens up Snowy spawning with a sword desig on a white opponent. All of those active frames just sitting there, ripe for punishment. Oh, bounced up a little bit too high for that to, uh, to connect somehow. But either way. Still gets that good damage off the down light. Speaking of the down light, the down stay is going to hit, but not going to be enough yet. Man, sitting in that that red. I was sitting in that red, looking real suspect to a KO, and there it is. Finds it with the side air. Either, either way, though, he got a pretty solid lead here. Got him into the orange. Hopefully, he's able to uh, not get too crazy while he was unarmed. Find himself a nice little combo there, down light. Man! He is finally oh, he sick. almost picked that up, too. And like normally, I would say with the way Snowy was when he got the KO on the Phazon, like it, there's a hundred damage on that stock. That's not too bad. He's not in a bad spot. With the way Phazon is playing, like no, nah, this is this is Phazon's game to lose. He has a full stock lead here. So far, Snowy's not been able to find too much momentum. There's a nice little three piece Nair juggle coming out. In comes the neutral light. Phazon's ready to go off stage already with the ground pound. In comes the D light. Phazon neutral light comes out. No major momentum swing one way or the other. Phazon might have something big here. He's going to grab the gauntlet there. No, just goes through the recovery. Snowy recovers back to the main platform. Okay. Cool. Okay, tried it again. Ooh, that's a beautiful player. Oh, oh and the grab yeah. Okay. Actually, all over him, man. Every option that he picked off stage, he picked like the one option that was going to afford it, and it worked every time. It's like, you know what? You're going to be here. I'm down airing this. You know what? You're going to be here. I'm going to ground pound this. If he had missed either one of those, that could have put him in terrible positions, but somehow he knew. He knew. It felt like all of those that Phazon wasn't meaning to go for those options. I think I think it was laid out exactly like you said. Like He hit the first dare and was like, oh. All right, he wants to do that. All right, this is kind of a nice spot. And then he throws out another dare. He's like, oh, okay. Well, he's he's going to be down there. I mean, I guess I'll go for a ground pound. I'm a full stock up. He's in the red. I'll get the KO. It wasn't the original plan, but he thought, why the hell not? Yeah. Speaking of, man, uh, they don't really get to see too often. Uh, is this one. I mean, I just, I, I feel like the platform layouts for a lot of people, they probably, I, know, I guess they just don't feel it as much as I kind of would expect. It's one of the more interesting stages for sure, though, with this tri plat with the class hang over the edge. But I feel like I don't really get to see this uh, pick a lot while watching uh, Rahala competitive play. So here we go. Yeah, the soft platforms here can kind of, it, whenever I play on it, it feels claustrophobic. Like obviously you can use those soft platforms to play on, but I feel just so claustrophobic. Like they're forcing me into the middle of the stage. Yeah, they do have that like, I don't know, aesthetic look that you need to be right here in the middle. Otherwise you're, you're in a very like disadvantageous spot. So I feel that. Alright. Oh, we try to get that. Oh, man. If he would have scooped him up, that would have been a great scoop to go ahead and start some off. Ooh, that's bad. Uh, off the assault. That's super bad. Manages to drift his way back down to the stage, but most... Okay, I thought that was going to be it right there. He had the side light. I uh, was kind of expecting the side air, but I think he wanted to kind of recalibrate it so he can get that side light side air to the left. He's on now with just okay. a little bit better stage control than Snowy does at this moment. Has Snowy in the orange. Continuing this, Snowy actually pulled out of the ground pound early. Maybe that was just a little bit of a bait after he threw one out previously. He rode all the way to the ground. Ooh, Snowy thought he could get the easy ground pound, but Faison went deep enough into the push off column. That Nair sent Faison really far away. He's able to grab the weapon from the main platform, but Snowy cleans it right up with an axe side air, just barely in the lead here. Yeah, man. I mean, this is probably one good recovery away if he finds it a good spot. Oh, that, there it is. He was actually looking for it right there. Got to get him with that, that burst option recovery. Okay, there it is. Oh, nope. A little too low, I think, because they weren't on stage. That's the only reason. If they were on stage, that probably should have been enough. And it looks like the neutralized is actually going to take it. Jabs him up and sends him out of there. Now, only taking about one hit, too. So, we got a, a really even game between our competitors right now. 
Ooh, I was going to say, Faison has weapon advantage, but that one spawns right in for Snowy. The RNG gods blessed him there with that weapon spawn. Okay. Yeah, definitely hearing these, these hits are finding their mark. Throw these down airs. Down air, ground pound. Getting whatever type of damage he can get off of this. Oh, he went for it. He wanted to hit that big, big cannon string that you can get if you hit the first sideline, get their dodge, and then you go for the sideline. Take him over to the edge. This, oh, what? That killed an orange? I mean, he was off stage, dude. Like, that, that was still, I mean, definitely feels like, I mean, it felt like it was a guaranteed kill, too. Like, it had, like, it had red force <laughs> instead of all that orange force. But you see him trying to get the same thing, trying to get his own KO in orange. Not going to be enough, though. Let's push him off the side and get some good damage. Tries it again, not the second he time. He wants that orange KO so bad. You see now two side signatures come right off the edge. Side light, side air into the down air. Doesn't follow him fully off stage. Just maintains that corner pressure. Man. Yeah, this uh, this game is definitely escaping phase on right now. As he is having a hard time finding this KO. While taking quite a bit of damage on his last stock. Get drilled off the side multiple times. Finds it right there, though, that neutral sig. Really just be throwing that thing out, and it works for him. Great little anti-air action. All right. Oh, wait a minute. Oh, if he would have got that down air. He was waiting for it, too. You saw him just kind of pause and completely do nothing right after he hit that ground pound. He knew yeah. that that was a possible opportunity to get the KO. He's falling behind in damage, though. Big side air from the middle of the stage. If he was over on the left edge, that would have been a KO. Phazon drifting too far away from the platform. Afraid of the edge guard from Snowy. And Snowy's going to take that game, keeping himself alive here. We're now 2-1, favoring Phazon as we go into the game four. Oh, yeah, man. I I'm not even sure if he needed to get the air dodge back on that one. I'm sure that was just he was trying to avoid more than uh you know, more options just in case. But I think the air dodge straight up also would have avoided that uh, recovery, and then he would have been able to grab the edge. Unfortunately, oh yeah, that drift back really, really sealed the deal for him uh, on trying to grab that edge to go ahead and take that uh, game. I'm gonna see it right now in a quick second as we get through these, as we get these replays. Man, great, uh, great action right there for our competitors in the, and I said the first game, but yeah, man. We're, gonna, we're back, boys. Kind of, I think we're working on some technical difficulties here on the other side, but Snowy and Faison, our first match. What do you think we're going, we're going to get in the next match, Barky? Yeah, Faison needs just a little bit of a break here, and I don't blame him. After that game that Snowy just kind of confidently won, I would have needed a breather, too. We're going to be going into this next one right now. Stage banded coming through. Faison has one more ban on the table. Small Mammoth Apocalypse and Demon Island and Crystal Temple were left on the board. Faison finally going to ban Apocalypse down. Small Mammoth, Demon Island, and Crystal Temple. And we're going to Small Mammoth. I almost expected, based on what we've seen from a lot of players earlier today, the all of a sudden Crystal Temple pick that seems to be reasonably popular among players now. Yeah, that Crystal Temple pick has definitely showed up out of nowhere here, as you said, in the uh, NA. But we are going to our tried and true, that Small Mammoth Fortress, bro. You know it, you love it. We all play here. Let's go ahead and get into it. Uh, the first weapon going to go to Snowy, but doesn't really seem to matter too much as Faison was able to find that second weapon really uh, quickly. But now he's already off stage, man. Snowy doing a really good job keeping the stage control, finding all the hits, all the momentum is basically on his side right now. Now, I almost half expected a character swap coming out from Faison, maybe over to the Artemis he's already played today, just based on him losing last game and then the, one of the games he won previously, like he didn't heavy handedly win it. He straight up stole the game with the gravity cancel neutral signature. Like he got kind of lucky on that one. So I almost expected yeah. a swap over to the Artemis just to give him some more range opportunity against Snowy's cannon and against Snowy's ax, because he's struggling to find entrance onto Snowy with his gauntlets. Yeah, man, easy stuff right there, as you can see, though. Uh, you, you said without the gauntlets, he was not doing well, and then it really goes to show in the damage that has been put on. Man is uh, just now starting to hit a deep orange to a red color, but not after he... I mean, he lost that stock in, like, regular yellow, so hopefully he's able to go ahead and keep this type of, of momentum up for his side, but it looks like even with him not doing well on the gauntlets in that first stock, he decides to keep the gauntlets going for him. Faison almost scooping that up on the second hit. There it is, that time though. 
slams him off the uh, off the ground and into that blast zone. Even though that was on stage, even though it bounced him off the ground, which took away some of his momentum, it was still enough to KO. A lot of force on that signature coming in. Now it's going to be phase on sword against Snowy's cannon. Dead even so far. Snowy throwing out a lot of blasts. Only one of them have made contact. There's a nice three piece coming out from phase on neutral light, followed by a D light recovery. Good damage coming out from phase on early on this second stock. Okay, trying to zoom in here and get that D light. You see him. Okay. Find it again. I like that. I mean, it's the, the nice little cloak that he's looking for on that D light. Hasn't been able to find it just yet. Oh, but he oh, finds the ground pound again. I'm telling you, Dude, man, you cannot. Like, phase on finding his ground pounds. How is he finding yeah. these? I have no idea, man. You, can't, you cannot challenge this man like that. He is just, he's he's off the stage. And he will find those ground pounds every time. But also, I mean, that really goes with the Snowy, man. Every time, like, most of the times he's lost his ground pound, uh, or his stock to a ground pound, he's been on the uh, cannon. And it, there's something about this cannon that's given him unbound confidence. I keep getting uh, punished because of that, so. Also, Snowy's Axe Ground Pounds kind of have been lackluster so far. It's almost like he's taking for granted the Axe Ground Pound. He's like, oh, yeah, this is just a free kill for sure. I'll be able to go off stage, throw it out, and I'll get the KO. It's a 360 degree. It auto releases on hit. Don't even have to worry about it. And that's been phase on punishing that twice now. Right. Oh, there we go. Gets himself uh, the down air. Going to bounce him off the stage, but. Not off that blast zone just yet. It is making it really hard, uh, hard for him to get back to stage, though. As you can see, the wall slip's coming in. Takes the uh, weapon toss. You see Snowy's a little bit cautious, though. He didn't really edge guard Phazon at all during that time. You saw how much movement Phazon threw out when that DSIG came out before he went over to the wall. And Snowy looks a little bit nervous in engaging in an edge guard situation against Phazon. I don't blame him. He's behind. He's in the yellow. Has to be worried about that. Right. I think it's a reverse throw. Nothing over there, though. Ah, yeah, you got to go. I like it. Gets the, uh, you notice that he's going to try to air dodge through him and gets that side air to go ahead and send him packing. But couldn't weapon starve him long enough. Now he's going to be able to go ahead and try to uh, pound into this lead with this sword. I can't believe Phazon got the neutral light. Oh, my gosh. He just caught Snowy out. Snowy was looking to go into the air and fall down with the classic axe down air on him that so many axe players rely on for most of their neutral damage. But somehow Phazon found the neutral after whiffing the D-Light, turning around, finding the neutral light, and it sent far enough for that to be the KO. There's that ground pound that Phazon beautifully punished. Yeah, I gotta, what happened to the rest of his jumps though? Cause he did have a jump on deck. And I just, that thing got evaporated. Just wanna find out right now as we go Here's through the replay real quick. Turn around, neutral light. His jumps were gone. Did, I see. Did he have a recovery? I that's feel like he what should a have. Weird final death. Yeah. Yeah, because he had. We saw one jump. We saw the air dodge. And then we saw a second jump uh, on the right side after he got hit. So I feel like he still should have had his recovery. I'm pretty sure he hit the ground before then, but eh, it is what it is.